Hey, it's the Tremenian Hero here, and we're playing some more Yoshi's Story. We're going on to 6-1 Mecha Castle. And that'll be to beat the game for the first of four times. So this level is torture. I must have tried this level at least 20 times by now. I played for hours, I took a break for a few days, I played some more. My game even crashed at one point. But so much can go wrong in this level, and the hardest part that I've yet to do successfully is right at the end, after nearly 15 minutes of gameplay. So... Yeah, I don't want to play this game. So we're running low on Yoshis here, but we do have this little white shy guy running around, so let's see what he can do for us. As you see, he saves our light blue Yoshi friend. He almost always saves the light blue one in these attempts I've been doing, but he did save the pink one twice. The first time he did it was on my first attempt ever at this level, and the other time he did it was on my first attempt after the game crashed. But uh, our next Yoshi to use is the yellow one, so we're gonna be using that one. So, we're in Bowser's castle. A swing, nobody's here to give a push. Hop on and try moving the control stick. And there's this door that's closed, and there's this swing that if you start swinging on it, whenever you swing forward, that door over there will rise just a tiny bit. And if you spend way too long swinging on this, then eventually you'll be able to get through the door. So yeah, you have to do this in order to even really start this level, and it sucks, and as many times as I have tried this level, you can bet I am so sick of this. Anyways, this is about as high as the door can go, but you don't need to raise it that high, because look how slowly the door comes down. Anyways... Sharp swords. Swords will leap at you from out of the walls. The red one will chase you. That sounds scary, but thankfully I know where all the swords are, because i played this level way too many times. So if you step on these three steps, a melon appears on the fourth one. If you sniff around up here, you can find another melon, and there's a melon in that bubble. So there's one of those red swords, and it's on a track down there. We can also find another track up here, which should mean another red sword. So once it starts chasing us, we get out of there, and then the hunter has become the hunted. We chase that down, and we get a red heart here. One of those big hearts that's completely useless now, kind of, because they're meant to unlock levels, but we're at the end of the game, so what's it gonna unlock, right? They technically do still have uses, because they can get you points, which are completely pointless, and they can heal you, which is actually useful if you need it, but we don't. These coins are also useless, but whatever, we're getting them anyways. So there's gears here that you can spin, but we don't want to, because it'll just make our life harder if we do. So yeah, let's try to avoid spinning these. There's a melon in this bubble, and the edge of the level is over here, so we have to go left. So Miss Warp number one is here, and the Miss Warps in this level are weird because they're out of order, but I want to get them in order, so I have to do this level in kind of a weird way. But I would have to do it that way anyways if I wanted to show the whole level. So yeah, don't get crushed by those gears. That's instant death. There is a melon for us, and now we can get super happy, or at least Yoshi can. I'll be super happy when I'm finally done with this level. Like I said, I must have attempted this at least 20 times. So I'm super sick of it. Uh, 
anyways, we got those two fly guys out of here. And now we can snipe this bubble from afar so that it doesn't get in our way. And then we want to hurry up and get that melon before the melon falls and before we fall. That's a really easy way to just completely screw yourself out of getting all melons. But now look, we've got another one of these stupid doors. We don't even need to get past this one to get all melons and hearts, but I need to do it to show the full level. So I've been having to do this every time I've gotten this far into the level as well, which is most of my attempts. Alright, that was a little tight, but we made it. Into the vase. So if we go this way, we've got a melon down here, but we also have this platform that's kind of like the nuts in Mario 3, but I also think there were platforms like this in, um, in Yoshi's Island. So yeah, there are these 3D platforms that rotate and you slowly slide down them until you fall through them. Anyways, we don't want to fall through this, because then we'd fall down onto spikes. There's also these insta-death crushers, so watch out for those. Here, if we go under this platform, we make a melon up here on the platform. And there's a heart here, but how do we get down to it? Well, if we go earlier in the level, we can drop down here. And we can actually find a Miss Warp, a melon, and if we went further to the right, the heart, but... We'll save that for later. For now, we'll go take Miss Warp 2 to Miss Warp 1, because Miss Warp 3 is before Miss Warp 2. So anyways, if we head up this way, there's a few coins here that we don't need, but we'll get anyways. There's a bubble, and that bubble has this switch in it, which normally these switches make you want to go fast, but here we actually want to go slow because we want to be careful with platforming across these gears. Because if we fall down, we're pretty much screwed. So let's hit that switch to refresh our timer, and now we can get up these little balls here that are there because of our switch, and we can get into this vase. So there's a bubble here, which has Miss Warp 3 in it. And there's this black fly guy up there that wants to drop that spiky thing on us. So let's get rid of him first so he can't drop it on us. A new one comes and lifts it back up. But he doesn't drop any he doesn't drop that while he's still lifting it, so you can use that as an opportunity to get under him. There's a melon here, which tastes good to us, but fun fact, along with the normal peppers, as you know. Uh, these black shy guys actually taste bad, so only non-picky Yoshis, like the black Yoshi, are okay to eat them. Anyways, get close enough to that guy and he'll drop that. See that heart in a bubble up there? There was one point where that heart didn't spawn, and because of that, Yoshi's graphics started glitching, and later on it caused a game crash. There's a hidden melon up there I got. There's also a bubble here with a melon, which, if you're not careful, the super happiness could have that bubble popped early, like how it just popped the bubble that had that heart in it. So yeah, be careful about that. And now we are back into familiar territory. So we just want to make our way back to Miss Warp 2, getting some eggs along the way. Why did that crush so quickly after... that was really weird and concerning. Anyways... Over here, past Miss Warp 2, we can get the third and final useless heart. And we can continue on. Oh, the timing there would have been perfect. So yeah, we want to wait for good timing on these, where the second crusher happens right after the first one. 
Just gotta give it some time. It'll be this next one here. There we go. And now down here, we've got another melon and some more crushers to time. Again, we want the second one to go right after the first. Which is gonna be the next one. Now we've got some of these to platform up along with our tongues. We have to hang on with our tongues! So watch out for those bananas up there. You should go forward a little bit before you use your tongue. I've never accidentally gotten those bananas, but I imagine you could easily accidentally get those bananas. Anyways, there's spikes above us, so you're gonna wanna drop down here a little bit before you jump out. And now over this way, we can sniff out another melon. And now there's four crushers here. But if you time the first two right, then the second two should also be good. At least that strategy hasn't failed me yet. Alright, right here. Now going into this base crashed my game when Yoshi's graphics were glitching. So good thing Yoshi's graphics aren't glitching. So there's a sword over here, so let's not even go over that platform. We can't avoid these platforms, though. So we've got to be a bit careful about it. There's a shy guy we can eat, a melon we can eat. And up here... If you hold up here and use your tongue... This doesn't always happen, but sometimes it will somehow get the watermelon from here, so just to be safe, jump up and then use your tongue. And now with that melon, we can be super happy. Which is good, because then I get to show off what you can do with this egg power-up when you're super happy, if it works. There we go, we can bounce around like that. Which is much easier than how the power-up normally works can still be a bit tricky to use. But yeah, it's a lot easier than this. Oh my gosh, come on. No, I wanted to go to the left because I thought the egg ability would be done, so I held the left and instead that had me aiming to the right, because it wasn't quite done yet. There we go. Now, this vase is the vase of our doom. So in here, you're gonna see a melon right away, which is nice, but what's not nice is that question block with the mini game that I have yet to succeed at, which is a race to the finish. If you get hit at all in this, you're not gonna make it in time, and even if you don't get hit, you're still probably not going to make it in time, so wish me luck! We want to stop right before the third one of these guys to get him to drop that, otherwise it'll land on us. Oh my gosh! This is only my second time ever that I've gotten through this without getting hit. And I was just barely fast enough. Yes! Oh, thank God. I think I mentioned this earlier in this attempt, but I must have played this level over 20 times in order to finally make this successful run. Anyways, Super Happy shows us a T, because all these mini games end with, you know, a Super Happy revealing a letter. So this level's letter is a T. Anyways, so I am super happy now too, just like Yoshi. Because this is going to be my successful run. We're not out of the woods yet. I mean, for all we know, I might be about to crash the game. Well, for all I know, you know that I'm not going to crash the game because this video was uploaded. Don't accidentally get this watermelon, please. We just have to keep going up. 
Let's get rid of those grapes. If it'll let me. Because I don't want that bubble to get in my way, but it's not really cooperating, so I'll just have to carefully avoid it. Oh my gosh. It's such a pain to get past. Okay, so up here we have Miss Warp number four. We've got a shy guy with a pepper. Which, we don't need the pepper, but we do need this melon berry here. Eat just one more fruit so that the Yoshis can grow happier. And so that I can grow happier. Oh, is this gonna be difficult? I mean, we have lives, so... You know, dying's not really an issue. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And there's our last melon, and there's a vase to bring us back to the start of the level. We're just getting this melon and finishing this off. <laughs> what have we here? Mario's little pet? I have pets too. Let's all play together. Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bob at my ceiling. All right, well, thanks for telling me how to beat you. But anyways... So yeah, throwing eggs... Okay, we can eat those fruits, but yeah. Throwing eggs at the enemies doesn't really do much of anything for us. Oh my gosh, stop it. Okay, that bob -omb blew up on me. Because I couldn't throw him in time, I guess. I still can't even hit the ceiling. Okay. Why is it hard to hit this ceiling? I don't think I've ever fought this boss, by the way. I've only ever even tried to play Yoshi's Story once, and I didn't finish it. Okay. I thought you were following me, but you were actually trying to attack me. Thankfully, we've got the super happy tree. How do you... Thankfully, we've got the super happy tree here, though, so we can heal. Okay, now please get up there. There we go. Drop that spike on him. And is that all we need to do? Just... Okay, getting that heart makes us super happy, it looks like. Game, what do you want from me? I have too many eggs, or rather because I'm super happy. Okay, if I'm super happy, I can just hit them directly with my eggs instead of dropping spikes on them, it looks like. But yeah, I have never done this boss fight before. And I started pressing the wrong button for my tongue. Ah, oh, that missed. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem too difficult to survive this fight. But man, I need some practice at actually hitting him. But yeah, you're not gonna have trouble surviving this fight since you've got infinite health right here. Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. And that's phase one done. Ow. 
I assume I can still use the tree to heal. There we go. That was a nice hit. With the bob on. Let's try getting super happy again. And just hitting them with eggs. Yeah, that works too. Come on. And there we go. Firework explosion did it. Yow, this hurts. I hate you puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. And the toadies take him away. And there we go, there's our first playthrough of Yoshi's Story. Uh, my run of the final boss wasn't too graceful, but do I care? Heck no, I finally beat this stupid stage. And there's our final score. Not that it really matters. Oh, I get to put my name in and... You know, The Legend of Zelda always taught me to put your name in as the character you play as, so let's keep up that tradition. Yoshi. And so the adventure began, the Yoshis set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out, not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far so good, if they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshis stayed, they'd surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean but tasted sweet. The Yoshis stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. To go any farther, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They liked to swim, but the jellyfish's sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The Yoshis finally got to the castle in the final page of the storybook. Behind all the noisy machines, Baby Bowser guarded the tree. Bowser was a tough baby, but bad guys finished last. The Yoshis won. Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. 
Yoshi's Island returned once more and became again the happiest shore. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Happy end. And now we've made it to the credits. We have beaten Yoshi's story. Once. We've got three more playthroughs to do. So, uh, yeah. This playthrough will hopefully be the hardest of the four because that one challenge in that one level, that stupid race was the worst, and I, I don't think there's any more challenges in the game that are as hard as that. Maybe the levels themselves might get harder, but I feel like I could probably deal with that. It's mainly those mini-games, like, that one was so precise. You saw that Chain Chomp almost got my melon. And you really can't do it any faster than that. So... Yeah, that was crazy, but I, I finally did it. I finally got through this level with all melons. And there we go. There's our story ranking. We're number one. Yay. We're also the only one. For now. Can I get past this screen, or is this, like, in classic old games where you're just stuck on the the end screen? I think that's the case. I think I'm just stuck here. So I guess I'll end the video here, and in the next video, we'll go to whatever level 1-2 is. It was called Surprise. I remember that, actually. Yeah, so in the next level we'll be playing, or in the next video we'll be playing level 1-2 Surprise. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.